I'm going to show you how to create a shade using the new SureShade encased lift cord from Rolly Company. This is how it comes on a roll, 72 yards. And the encased lift cord is a sew-on tape that has lift cord running inside of the tape. It's available in two sizes of lift cord, 0.9 millimeter and 1.4 millimeter, and two different weights, a standard cord and then an ultra cord that is slicker and works better for heavy and larger shades. You're going to replace your rings and lift cord from your old school style shades with this product. On the shade I have here on the work table, I've made a ribbed shade using our iron-on rib tape with the ribs inserted. And the encased lift cord is stitched into a bottom hem. I have a pocket here for the weight bar that's already been inserted. And I've sewn on a ring at the bottom of each row of encased lift cord. This is a sta same shade ring. Um, you can use the plastic rings or the metal rings. The encased lift cord is stitched to the shade and it can be hand stitched or machine stitched. You want to stitch on both sides of the tape with the tape laying flat. Make sure you don't sew all the way across so you don't catch the lift cord within. You can space the encased lift cord just like you would rows of rings. The spacing here to create a loop needs to be under 8 inches. The new ANSI WCMA standards require that you do not create a loop larger than 16.9 inches. And here's an example of a 16.9 loop. So you want your spacing between stitches to be 8 inches or less. You can space it across the number of rows you need. If you're making a flat shade, you'll want to put them closer together than if you're making a ribbed shade, for example, or a different style of shade. You can use encased lift cord tape to create any style of shade. I have a few examples here. A relaxed Roman, a London shade, and even a hobbled shade. Again, being careful that you do not create too large of a loop with your combined loop of fabric and encased lift cord tape. After all your tape is sewn on, make sure you fish out and allow extra cord at the bottom. You will be leveling the shade from the bottom and allow extra cord at the top for putting into your lift system. You can use any style lift system that accepts cord. For example, I have Easy Rig Shade System on the London Shade, Soft Shade Traversing Clutch here on the Relax Shade, and a Roller Clutch. On the Hobble Shade, you also could use a Roller Spring. When you're working with the encased lift cord tape, the cord does move very freely. So I like to put an orb on the bottom and then you'll want to tie this just around the encased lift cord or add another orb at the top. So as you're moving the shade around, all the cord doesn't slide out of the casing. If you're making a shade using the Easy Rig system, you'll want to get the drums that do not have cord on them because you're going to fish the cord into the system. This is a reverse mount shade that has the encased lift cord tape on the back. I've fished the cord out of the tape through the grommet to the front of the shade and that comes up into the system and there's a little plug that you'll run the cord through, not the cord, and then just put it back in place. And you can add a little bit of glue in there if you want to make sure it stays put, but I've never had any trouble with them coming out. That just gets placed in the little hole for the plug there. When you're creating shades with any kind of bead chain or cord loop, when you send them out before you leave, they leave the workroom, you want to make the shade inoperable. To do that, you'll want to install one of our drive tension devices, and we do have a video showing how this product works. Put it on the bead chain. Raise your shade all the way up to the highest position and then slide the tension device all the way up until it hits the clutch. That makes the shade inoperable until you get on the job site and it's installed properly onto the wall. And also be sure to add a warning tag for bead chain loop.
or cord loop. I think you'll really like using the new Encase Lift Cord. It's so versatile. You can make any style of shade. You even can use it for Italian stringing on drapery panels.